day friends today i'm going to make a really short video because yesterday i went to a dinosaur park with the family and with milan and it was really awesome and i recorded it and i'm going to make a vlog of it but that was a really long day so that's why i'm tired and i did make a video yesterday and i wasn't even going to make a video today but i just had an idea on how to make the longest boat ever in build a boat for treasure so that's what i want to share with you i didn't actually make the boat i just got the idea on how to make it so i want to show you guys how to make it because I know some of you guys have like so many blogs and want to make the biggest boats ever. So I'm going to show you how to make the longest boat uh, in Build a Boat for Treasure. So if you look in the game, I'm actually in someone else's boat. Look at how big this one is already. Uh, this one is made by Tommy. Uh, what's his name? Tommy the boss level. That's a really... Look at it. It's already as long as the level almost. It's only a few blocks short of being as long as the level. This might be the biggest boat I've ever seen. It's really cool. With my idea, you can make a boat that is longer than the building platform. Okay, so the secret to building the longest boat in Build a Boat for Treasure is this it's this it's a pencil okay uh if i put a pencil like this right and i let it go it doesn't stay upright it falls down why does it fall down because it has a point you see it has a point so it falls over so basically in build a boat you have the limits you know you cannot build bigger than the level in build a boat like you can see here that is the size of the level you cannot build bigger than this right except you can build up. You can build up as high as you want. You can build up all the way to the sun and to the moon. And actually the moon is way closer than the sun. But you can build up as far as you want. Uh, Chill said there's no limit to how high you can build. So if you build a boat and it's like the pencil. You have to make one side the bottom and one side the top. And then once it falls down, you have to make it fall over. And then you will have... A really long boat. Okay, I know this looks weird with the pencil, but let me show you guys. Let me show you guys. I didn't actually, of course, make like the longest boat ever. I don't have that many bl blocks. People ask me all the time. I think I have maybe like 20,000 blocks. I'm not really sure how many I have, but I just built like a miniature version just to show how it works. Now, you can do this in two ways. Uh, one is to just make it shape like this uh, and then click go, except you have to put something in front of it. So I put this little bar, which you can see on the ground is connected to the ground uh, you have to do that because otherwise it's going to fall over the other way that's because uh, when the water goes it goes in that direction L let's say my hand is the water and the direction is like this the water goes like this if something is standing on it and the water moves like this then it will always fall that way so it will fall the wrong way we want it to fall over forward onto the water right so that's why if i put this thing in front of it it should work let me try yes there we go so now imagine if that boat was super high all the way into the sky way higher than the level is long then it would have fallen forward and that way if you make it if you make it correctly you can actually have it fall over like this and you can have the longest boat ever. So I'm telling you guys this because I know some of you guys are really passionate about making the biggest boat ever. I personally really like it more if it looks good, but some of you are really obsessed with the size. You want the biggest boats ever. So that's why I'm giving you this tip. This way you can make a boat that looks good, but is also like actually boat shaped because right now you have to sort of build upwards. So you'd have to build like a tower and it would be weird if you have a lot of uh, blocks. So this way you can sort of get around the, the limits of the level. All right, and of course I said there's another way to do it. Uh, I'm not sure if it's better, but of course I'll show it too. I have to die first. There we go. 17 gold. Thank you very much. I'm rich. The other one is maybe even a better idea. And that is instead of clicking go, you make a boat that is... Um, unanchored which means that it can fall down but you make like one top block or one block on it somewhere that is anchored which holds it up in the sky and then uh if you want to go you just remove that block and the rest of the blocks that aren't anchored should fall down and if it has this shape then it should fall over like that that's why i made it in this shape because i totally didn't think about that the water would go in that direction make it fall the wrong way you could even use these blocks of course and then it would be even smoother 
uh, of, a, of an angle and it would fall down even better, I think. So yeah, I hope you guys are going to use this idea and I'm sorry that this is just a short, quick tip video. I didn't really want to make no video, but I was way too tired to actually make a real video. So yeah, and tell me if you have any ideas uh, for build a boat, creative ideas like this that people can use to make even bigger and better boats and to make like cool stuff. Like I've seen people make like gates and elevators and stuff. The boat that I was just in had an elevator that Tommy made. It is really cool. Um, and yeah, apart from that, I hope you're having an awesome day. Don't forget to stomp like a dancer.